There's the main plume from that haystack fire, kind of going out more so over the Elkhorns and out over East Helena, but it's just a lot of smoke everywhere, a lot of warmth too. 82 degrees currently in Helena, and how about in Great Falls? You can see that smoke plume as well. Uh, extending overhead here, 81 degrees in the electric city. Some cooler air off towards the north and west. There's a cold front that will eventually be sweeping across the state. Very warm still here for late in September, late in the day with temperatures out there in the 80s. The wind had been pretty strong for a lot of the plains here, not so much uh, in the Helena Valley. The wind will be strong again tomorrow, but it's a different wind with the cold front going through. We'll see a cooler wind setting up, but looks pretty windy for a lot of the state here. It's a west wind, and again, it will be a cooler wind, kind of chilly actually tomorrow, especially after today's highs uh, well on up into uh, the 80s for a lot of locations. So it's the warm before the storm. That's the storm that will eventually produce uh, some showers here in the state. All of the active fires, meaning firefighters still uh, working these fires, but the fires that are actively emitting smoke, including that haystack fire and then into the Trail Creek, the Alder Creek fires emitting some smoke. Central Idaho, a couple of big fires contributing smoke to our sky as well. Still technically under a red flag warning from around Boulder and then off towards the south. Lake Wind Advisory for Fort Peck Reservoir. Here comes the system. That's a beautiful amount of rain for Washington and Oregon. This is one of those storms where not much precipitation falls east of the Continental Divide and got a little area of low pressure down over the four corner states and up into New England, but kind of quiet for a lot of the country. So here's what will happen. Showers will hang out in the northwest part of Montana tonight into tomorrow early morning. That's some snow. You see the pink, so snow on some of those fires into Idaho, but not a lot precipitation reaching again uh, east of the Continental Divide. Maybe some showers up there around East Glacier and around Helena and around Boulder in the Haystack Mountain Fire here. Could see a shower maybe through Chester and Joplin and Inverness uh, over to around the Haver area, but eventually late uh, Tuesday night into Wednesday, a few showers into eastern Montana. We'll clear out, so we'll look at nice weather here coming through on Wednesday. A little mountain snow, especially out there into Idaho. Here's the forecast for tonight. 40s and 50s and smoky skies. Maybe some of us will be smelling that smoke uh, here through the overnight into tomorrow morning. But by 11, 12 o'clock in the morning, that front will be pushing through uh, Helena and Great Falls, 12 in the afternoon. Uh, that front will be moving into eastern Montana late, and so that's why it will still be warm. But a couple of showers, much cooler, windy, cleaner air. Wednesday, a beautiful day. A few more clouds into eastern Montana, but 60s, sunshine, and again, clean air. Thursday, we'll likely have highs up near 70 with mostly sunny skies. And Friday, a beautiful day with some showers likely around Great Falls and Helena late. So few showers tomorrow, better chance for rain later Friday. The first weekend in October looks great after Friday's rain.